problem on relative density. Let us define the problem. The volume of a solid of mass 500 gram is 350 cm cube. We need to find what will be the density of this solid. We know the density of a solid is given as mass by volume. Mass is given as 500 grams. Volume is given as 350 cm cube. So, when you cancel, you get it as 1.42 grams per centimeter cube. This is the density of the solid. Now, let us find what will be the mass of water displaced by solid. We know from Archimedes principle, the volume of the solid, mass of the water displaced, will be the volume of the water displaced. So, we will find out what is the volume of the solid. So, we know the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube and we also know that this is nothing but mass of water divided by volume of water. Mass of water is what we need to find. Let us say that is m. And volume is known, which is nothing but 350. Because the volume of the solid is the volume of water that is displaced as per the Archimedes. So, M becomes 350 centimeter cube. So, we know the mass of water. Now, we will find what will be the relative density of the solid? We got what is the density of solid and we got what is the mass of the water that is displaced. Now we need to find out what is the relative density of solid. Relative density of the solid is defined as density of solid by density of water as per the definition. We know the density of solid we found in the part A of this question as 1.42 and density of water is 1, hence this becomes 1.42. Relative density does not have any unit, it is a number. Now we will see the fourth part of the question, will it float or will it sink? How do we find out this? We know if relative density of the solid is greater than that of water, then it sinks. So, in this case, let us find out what is D relative, that is relative density of solid, whether it is greater or lesser than that of water, which is 1.42 is greater than 1, which is the relative density of water. Since 1.42 is greater than 1, the solid sinks in water. So, with this problem we understand how relative density helps in finding out whether that particular substance floats or sinks in the water.